Tunnels are a really important part of road infrastructure, and they're often loaded with lots of interesting smart electronics goodies. Here I've created a Papercraft smart tunnel that's loaded up with lots of smart electronics, and I'll show you what it can do. Starting at the mouth of the tunnel, we have some lane indicator lamps, and these will show which lanes are open and closed. If there's a collision in the tunnel or if there's some works happening, you'll have to shut down one of the lanes in your tunnel. And so to indicate that to drivers, we have some green lights at the mouth of the tunnel. And if I touch one of the pads on the touch sensor, I can shut down that left hand lane. So now that light has gone red, indicating that this lane is now shut down. There's also a graphic OLED display on which I can display text. So when the lane is shut down, I have the text showing crash ahead, drive slowly. And if I press that button again to clear the lane, the sign resumes to its normal state where it's showing a trip count. Also at the mouth of the tunnel is an RFID reader. So if I send my car through the reader with its RFID tag, that trip count will actually increase as it registers the vehicle is passed underneath the reader. And if I pass it through multiple times, we can see the trip count is incrementing. Now this trip count is specific to just this car. We can see that we have a unique vehicle ID on the left here and the number of trips that it's performed on the right. If I bring in some other RFID tag and pass that under the reader, you can see that we have a new vehicle ID and its trip count is one. So our smart tunnel is capable of tracking trips for unique vehicles and that can be really interesting data to gather. Now that both my vehicles have done some trips, if I touch the middle button on my touch sensor, I can print a trip report. And this will print out a list of all the vehicles that have gone through the tunnel and the number of trips. In the middle of the tunnel, we have this ventilation fan which will pull fresh air through the tunnel and make sure that exhaust fumes don't accumulate. And that I can trigger with just the press of a button. And finally, at the end of the tunnel, we have some active lighting. So this is a street light that will come on when it gets dark outside. And then during the day, we won't need that light. So we can uncover it and the light will switch off. I designed the tunnel as a flat design in an illustration program, which I then cut out on a laser cutter. This enabled me to tape two segments together and then just fold these bands over to create the tunnel ceiling. And everything's held together with either staples or tape. Here you can see we have like a, a center support beam that's just being held in place with some staples. Now, of course, if you wanna make something like this, you won't have to laser cut it out. Using the designs provided, you could always just cut it out by hand. And then using a color laser printer, I printed out this road design and taped that on and also some murals to beautify the inside walls of my tunnel. Now this wiring may look a little bit intimidating, but I used PicoDev modules to create this tunnel, which are basically plug and play electronics modules. This PicoDev module just has a cable going into it and then a cable coming out of it to daisy chain on to the next module. And here's my wiring map for all the PicoDev modules on this tunnel. At the mouth of the tunnel, we have the touch sensor, the OLED display, and the RGB module, which creates the, the lane lights. And you can see they're all just daisy chained together and into a splitter that goes to the Raspberry Pi Pico that controls the whole tunnel. Coming out of the other side of the splitter is the ambient light sensor and another RGB module for the end of the tunnel. And so because we have two RGB LED modules, this one just has its switches set to some unique ID. And looking briefly at the code for this project, our infinite loop is quite simple. It just updates each module in turn as necessary. So we first update the street lights that reads the ambient light sensor and turns the white street light on or off as necessary. We update the traffic lights. That's where we read the buttons on our touch sensor and turn the lane lights to green or red as necessary. Next, we read if there's an RFID tag present and we log that tag. The report function will check whether we've pressed the center button and it will print that traffic report that we saw earlier. And finally, update exhaust fan. will just check if the button has been pressed and it runs the fan as necessary. So these functions conceal a lot of the complexity of the program, but you can see that they're all just individual small problems to solve. If you'd like to take a closer look at the code, a full listing will be on the project page for this video. And so there you have it, a rather fully featured smart tunnel using Papercraft and some PicoDev modules. If you make something cool from this starter project, or if you have some questions about how it works, let us know on our maker forums. We're full-time makers and happy to help. Catch you next time.